Hey everybody, day 13 and of course, anything with a 13 in October, Halloween, Octoberween month, well, yeah, bad luck avails. So, I'm trying a new camera angle for getting certain things done. Let me know in the comments how you see things from that angle, please. I do want you all to know, I don't know how loud I'm sounding, because I, um, and you'll see my hand a lot, but with the new angle, I don't know how loud to speak, and um, my normal voice is kind of a little bit loud, because normally I have to speak loud for people to, um, pay attention to what I'm saying, or at least that's how I feel, and it's actually through experience as to why I feel that way. Anyway, um, as you can see, it is finishing up the evil pumpkin and apple. I have sponges of all types. I cut up a, just a normal kitchen sponge into different shapes. Uh, most of the huge work will be by sponge. Um, the paints you see behind here, I have a yellow by Sargent. And then these are Rich Art in Family Dollar. You find them all over in Family Dollars. This is a green. We have my famous red. White. Black. blue and then for some effects i'm going to put some folk uh, folk art dragonfly glaze and it is um blue blue green gold and uh it's a blue green gold shift Blah. now i do want to bring up the fact i have watched my own videos okay and I have come to the realization that my videos are kind of dull and boring. They don't have music, mostly because the music that's available sucks big time. And, well, you have to worry about copyright. You have to make sure that it's an approved by YouTube uh, material. You have to put a link and acknowledgement to the creator of whatever music you put in. And all I want to do is create videos. Okay? I just want to do my craft and record it. That's it. I don't want to have to put fancy, fancy, fancy anything on them. Because I'm not a fancy person. I never have been. So... With all that said, I also have the glow-in-the-dark luminous paints. And this is supposed to be red. It's not red. It's kind of a pinkish orange. Um, we have purple. We have green. We have blue. And we have orange. Some of those colors will be used on here as well. I'm not exactly sure and in what order or anything like that. I'm one of those people that just paints on whim, okay? Uh, kind of just, that's how artists are, you know? They do things on whim. They sometimes have a thought in mind of what they want. And most of the time it's just playing it by ear. So I also have two small brushes for finer detail. There's not too fine a detail that needs to go into these. So they're not too fine of a brush. Now there are pock marks all over these things. But being what they are, the nature of the beast, um, I'm going to do just fine with those pock marks. 
I did check, and some of the teeth on this one are a little goofed. But, yeah, like I said, you know, it's a creation for Halloween. Okay, so the apple is going to be, the main portion is reddish. Well, red and some, you know, rotted looking coloring. And then pumpkin orange with some rotted looking coloring. Now, as I don't have an orange in paint colors, I make my own all the time. And that's with the red and yellow. Because, you know, that's orange. And if it's not the proper looking orange, you know, you can add just a little bit of well, either blue or black, and you can darken that orange. So, let's begin a little bit here. I'm going to start with the apple. He seems to be going to be the easiest. As I said, I got a light start. Things happen. I took a nap, which turned into um, no one or two hour session. It turned into... Um, from 11 o'clock till 3.30, so a four and a half hour nap, and then I was too tired to start anything, and decided, well, um, we'll go watch a movie, started watching the movie, and it was boring, extremely well not acted, or not well acted, really awful. So, um, I just said to heck with it, came in here to the art room to, to get this done. I wasn't going to post a video today because I'm not feeling in the mood these days of doing those things, but, you know, I'm tired, I'm worn out, I'm exhausted. I'm cranky, so y'all don't want to keep hearing about that, so let's get some dollops of paint out, shake them, sorry, you're going to see, you're going to have the camera shake on you because it's attached to my table and my floor is not exactly stable, let's get this red, we're just going to Put a good portion because we need a lot of red. Always need a lot of red. And as I put them on my silicone mat, I couldn't find my palette. I don't know what I've done with it. I started straightening things. And I, of course, misplaced as much as I possibly can. Oh, wow, I may not have used this for such a long time. It may have begun coagulating. Oh, it's definitely coagulated at the top. Good thing I don't need a whole lot of that. Get some green. Love those sounds. Don't y'all love those sounds? Going to need a little bit of white for some softening. Oh, I hear the little youngin. So why don't I have my assistant that's sitting next to me bring the young one in and y'all can see the baby. Salem is doing better. We still can't get to the doctors till tomorrow. So he, ha he is eating, he is drinking. Um, I'm going to set this aside so when I put Salem in front of the camera, you can actually see him. He'll be here in a second. We have been trying to keep his nose cleared.
because that is his greatest issue because if a cat can't smell, they don't trust the food they're going to eat and they do breathe a little bit from their nose while they're eating and so they also feel like they're going to choke to death. All right. Here's Mr. Salem. Say hello to everybody, Salem. Up here. By the way, the vet is going to be checking to see if he's deaf. I suspect it very much. And uh, he doesn't he doesn't hear very well. So he may be totally deaf. But he does pay attention to um, oh, he does pay attention to sight very well. Oh, black, yick, yick, yick. Hold on, let's get your nose. Oh, yuckos. I know, huh? Ickies, huh? I know. And the sinuses affect the eyes, too. That's my boy. That's my baby. Yeah. He loves this. This is his comfort. And lately he's been taken to crawling up to my neck. And y'all know me. I wear clothing that is the barest of essentials because, well, I swing from hot to cold all the time. And I don't do so well when things are warm. Eating him a precious love. That's right. That feels so good, huh, Salem? He no longer fits in just one hand. He's a double-hander now. Yep. Get your little ear. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, yes. Yep. And when they have a sinus infection, which is, I think this is what this is, because he's not coughing. He's just sinusy. Um, oh, whoops. All right, I'm going to hand him back off, but when they have a sinus infection, it affects their ears. It affects, it's just like with any human. You get a sinus infection, it affects everything, including your attitude. Mwah. Okay, Salem, Mommy love you. Daddy, go ahead and take you out there and go sit with you for a little bit. Okay, let's try to get to this. Um, Mr. Apple first. Okay, we're going to get to a little bit larger sponge here. Whoop, and then that one likes the green paint because it just rolled over into it. Ah, uh, to have room. Yes, my desk is a mess and it shall be. So what we wanna do is we wanna get the yellow on here first, like that. Then we're going to roll it over put the red on the other side like that and then we're going to start stippling a little bit so we can get that little orange and red going the orange going not the orange and red but yes we want this a mottled looking apple And it doesn't matter if I get it on the stem, the stem's going to get painted anyway. But when you get closer to the face, you want to try to be more careful. Okay, a little bit more again. You want more red than you want yellow. Because you don't really want an orange apple. But apples do have a little bit of orange look to them sometimes. Okay, let me get down into that stem area. Might have to get that with a brush. Probably. Ah, it's getting down in there. I'll still have to do it with brush as well. So let's get some more of this done. 
Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and do this on normal speed. I am going to speed you up. So I'm going to pause you for a moment. And then the next part you see is going to be sped up for time purposes.
Okay, everybody. I have run out of time to get the pumpkin done, but the apple of my eye is done. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know how well you can see all of, <clears throat> excuse me, all of that. His chin seems to be crumbling a little bit, so I will have to um, fix that up. I don't know exactly how I'm going to fix it up, but um, I'll primarily just seal it with spray. So it's not going to change anything. And then here's his back. I didn't get the shading in here because I was noticing that the more this got wet the worse it became but I didn't want to have to seal it because then it would become too shiny I gotta know exactly where I'm at and I don't new angles but he's done oh I did see some mouth in there that needs to be finished off but He's done. Oh, happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, yeah, you can tell I'm really tired. Anyway, seriously, thumbs up. If you liked the video. Um, of course, comment below. Um, tell me what I did or did not do correctly, in your opinion, that is. And please, constructive criticism, not putting somebody down, okay? And if you like the new angle for me doing these types of projects like this, let me know that as well. If I'm talking too loud because I'm too close to the camera, um, let me know that too. Um, and at that point, of course, you know, turn your volume down a little bit. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers and to all the viewers that haven't subscribed yet. Maybe you might want to think about going ahead and subscribing. Um, yeah, uh, part three will be the pumpkin tomorrow. I'll have more time. And sorry about the water running, but he was cleaning some stuff for me. Because, well, I'm a mess. But, um, anyway, yeah, share if you care. Peace out. <laughs> yeah.